Hello, today we're going to be replacing the hard drive in an HP TPN C129 with a solid state drive. So, one of these old widescreen HPs. It's only a couple years old, but it's very slow. It's a Core i3. I'm not sure how much uh, RAM it has. I haven't really looked into it that much, but I did turn it on and saw that for the bulk of the time using the computer, the hard drive was the bottleneck. The hard drive was pegged at 100%. So we'll just see what we can do. See how easy it is to get this open. I've, I've watched a video that showed someone struggling to open one of these cases for a good five minutes. So it's possible that I will have some difficulties getting some of these, uh, getting prying the, the thing open, but we shall see. Uh, I think I'm going to turn it around. No, actually, I just want to make sure my orientation is consistent so that I know where my screws are located. So this screw was loose. All of the screws in this laptop so far are exactly the same length. So fortunately, I don't really need to preserve their location, even though I did. Those are still intact, very good. <laughs> Switch over to Partition Wizard and see if my new e SATA card is truly hot pluggable. It should be. So when I plug this in, so it looks like it's disk four. Yep. Going from a one terabyte Western Digital hard drive to a 500 gigabyte Crucial MX500 SSD. Mostly because of cost. The, the Samsung, you know, the one terabyte SSDs are still over 100 pounds or around 100 pounds, depending on the model, for a good one. And the crucials are relatively inexpensive, so that's what I recommended. So disk 7 is our crucial. Disk 4 is our Western Digital. I'm just going to double check again. Disk 4, this is the user, the customer. So disk 4 to disk 7 is my copy operation. Disk 4 to disk 7. And we'll let Partition Wizard fit the partitions to the disk. I don't know why there's a 6 gigabyte unused. Might move that around. 
and then increase the size on the C drive. Hopefully everything is still aligned properly. So disk four to disk seven, triple checking disk four is the customer's Windows partition that's only using 75 gigs or 71 gigs. Disk 7 is the new Crucial MX500. This is what it'll look like with the new layout. Happy enough. Here we go. I had a customer visit me in the shop to pick up his computer, and this finished. So I need to put the bracket onto the hard drive, onto the SSD, sorry. It goes in this way, so that bracket is going to be like this. Yep. So this might be a case where I need to use the little plastic spacer that comes with the hard drive. I mean, it's actually suspended in there quite nicely, but I wonder, do I need more support underneath the bottom? So for a while, when I first got these, when I first started buying these, I wasn't sure why they came with these little black rectangles until I really looked at them and realized that this is adhesive. You just peel that off and that'll stick onto the drive to make it as thick as some of these thicker hard drives. So in this case, the Western digital drive that came out of here was rather thick. So this thing would fit in there and it's gonna be attached to the drive, but I just wanna test fit and see. Yeah, that's nice. I mean, it's there's still play at the back no, that's good. I'm going to use it. I don't use these very often. Usually it doesn't matter. Pretty clean inside here. The CPU fan has some dust on it. Not a lot. No, really. Um, I'm going to blow it out. I'm going to take it to the, the back room. I've got the the blower. I might run this briefly without the back just because it was so difficult to put on so the battery won't clip in without that my anti-static mat here should be sufficient and I just need to be careful when I open it because it doesn't have all of the support that it normally does. Let's just get that plugged in. This has got one of those power jacks that has the plastic standoff in the middle and they plug the connector from the charger. It's a very small pin in the middle. One of these days, I'm always afraid that I'm going to bend that pin. So that always leads to that tends to lead to problems. Once you bend the pin, then that plastic standoff inside of the power jack is at risk, and those power jacks are they're made to be replaced. Um, it's quite easy to replace them. I've done a few. back together so, PTA port
Boy, that Logitech stream cam. I mean, come on. Let's put you in. Battery in. Well, let's not forget the screws, shall we? Charges. Charge light. All right, we've got everything we need. I'm just gonna run some tests and make sure, just gonna kind of poke around and make sure that the computer is working well. I mean, it's like night and day. Prior to this, the disk usage was 100% For ages, this computer was just stuck. So I might run it through Windows Update a few times, get it up to date, see where we are. It is done. Thanks for watching.